Have you checked the Hey everyone, welcome back to The Horror Show. I'm Cecil Laird. Robert Wolfman. And we are here to do a extra bit of trailer reactions. Um, there was like 28 trailers for us to do today, so the rest of us are going to do like the main 15 trailers, and then Robert and I are here to pick up the slack and do the other 13 or so. Yeah, so pretty much. Let's uh, let's take a look and see what we got. What do you say, Robert? Do the, yeah, let's do the B-roll. Yeah, the B-roll. Exactly. <laughs> let's go ahead and start with the new trailer for something called He's Watching. Okay. Okay. And in three, two, one, go. Hey, hey, mom. Hey, hey, dad. We decided to make a video diary for you while you're away. So just get well soon, please, because we don't like being alone. <laughs> yeah, I'm bold bullshit. horror. I'm a bullet call bullshit. Okay. One, two, three, go. Is it found footage? I don't know, but I'm kind of not feeling it. It's, it's been t like 15 seconds. Chill. Good lord. Well, I'm perfectly calm. You need to calm your clam. <laughs> yeah. That's what it's. That's the vibe I'm getting. Like they're trying to not show us much. But yeah. This is. I get this feel like it's going to be a sleeper found footage one. Big quotes in this. Uh, I don't know. I know. I know you're more of a fan of the found footage stuff than I am. I don't know. Like, this this trip, it just didn't really it doesn't really do much for me. I don't know. <laughs> it's. I gotta say, it's not the best trailer. Like, it's not. It's not giving away a lot, which I understand, mm -hmm. but. It's not that engaging either. Like you gotta, you gotta, you gotta give us some, some of the some cool of the stuff. Stakes. Like just a little bit of the yeah. cool stuff. You know, give us a little sousson of the cool stuff. Don't you know? I get you're trying to avoid spoilers or whatever, but I gotta have a reason this, to want to watch it outside of just sixteen quotes yeah. about the movie. You this know is what I mean? this is a rough uh, a rough cut of a trailer. Definitely. Maybe. Yeah. I, I, I just I don't know. I guess if you watch it, if you say, you know, if you recommend it, I'll check it out. Mm -hmm. but I'll definitely give it a try because I love the found found, footage, yeah. yeah. But the trailer isn't doing much for me. However, I get the vibe from the trailer that there's something quality beneath the surface. So 
maybe it's effective in that way. I don't know. I hope so. Yeah, I hope, I hope the, the movie is better than what they had the trailer cut for. Alright, so let's move on from that. Let's do one called Lou. I don't know what this is. I think this is more revenge than anything else. So, uh -huh. three, two, one, go. I wish I could say that some good came from what I did. Obviously, a Netflix project. <laughs> In truth, gave it away. <laughs> I left the world a more dangerous place. Where do I know her from? <laughs> oh no. Oh good. Why you gotta drive so goddamn fast when you know there's a child nearby? The world's not a playground. Teach your kid to look out for herself. Oh, it's Alice and Jane, isn't well, it? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Her from um, Lovecraft Country. Is that Alice and Jane? What the hell? What the hell? He took my daughter. Hold on. Who did? Maybe it's not Allison Janey. I don't know. Oh, it's that guy. I have to track him. <laughs> Stay here. Hey, where are you going? To find my child. If you slow me down, I will leave you behind. Giving off big Jamie Lee Curtis and Halloween vibes here. But not in a bad way. Uh -huh. <laughs> Where is he taking her? I don't know. Okay. Things are escalated. Oh, it is Allison Jenny. Okay. This isn't just a kidnapping. Jeremy Smollett. Okay. What aren't you telling me? Dude, she, was, she was awesome. I'm running out of time. Mm -hmm. That was such a good show. Damn. Uh oh. Secrets. That That's looks, pretty good. Yeah. I, I yeah. I'm pretty into it. Girl Scouts. <laughs> it looks solid. I mean, you, you you put you put Liam Neeson in the Alice and Janney role, and it gets a hundred million dollars at the box office. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. It's basic. Yeah. It's 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 almost it's basically taken. Yeah, kinda. I mean, yeah. you know. So I, I'm into it. I think it looks good. I mm -hmm. give this a try, especially if it's. I already have a Netflix sub, so. Might as well give it a try. Throw it on. I think Donna might enjoy this too, actually. So yeah, I, I'm I'm about this one. No, most definitely. I'll definitely be checking this one out. Cool. All right. Yeah, let us know what you yeah. guys think in the comments down below about Lou. But uh, so far, so good. Let's do one called Mona Lisa and the Blood Moon. Um, huh. This is <laughs> Kate Hudson, apparently. Huh. Okay. So three, two, one, go. We got the green band trailer. Attention all Noel and Gina, stand by for broadcast. We are looking for a violent 103M. Escaped from the home of mentally insane adolescents. She is described as an Asian female, brown hair, brown eyes, and she is considered dangerous. Use extreme caution. Over. Copy. Lucky me. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, that's a good director. Alone in this big man world? Dude. You okay? You don't sound like you're from around here. I mean, you live in New Orleans? Oh, there she is, okay. Yeah. I'm not going back to I don't know why the really trailers are like stuttering when they're watching know. nowadays. I, like, I kind of like how it's being it's shot, like though. Away from somewhere. I don't want to go back! Oh, damn. She's got some kind of powers? Yeah. It reminds me of kind of like the of the female character from uh, The Boys. Oh, um, Kiko? Is that her name? Uh, I'm not sure. They call her the female in the comics, so. For a little while. Since when do you help people? Hey! She's a little miracle. She's a fugitive. Stop! Run it! Oh, okay. If you see this girl, do not look at her. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting almost like some Elfin Lied kind of kind of vibes with the mind control stuff. And oh shit! <laughs> okay, 
So the trailer was actually a lot better than what the title was making it seem out to be. Because like when you read, read that uh, title, I expected something completely different. I had no idea what to expect. I was just on, it just on no. Board it board, just so. it gave off one of those just like a really like a, che- a cheesy movie title kind of thing. <laughs> okay. Like Mona Lisa and the Blood Moon. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. No, it seems interesting to me. I mean, the the mysteries there. What's up with her? What's her backstory? What is? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I'm into it. it. Looks good to me. Yeah, I'll definitely be checking this one out. I like it. I like how it's shot. It's very, it, it's almost kind of like through like a like mentally unstable kind of camera angles. A little bit. Sense. Yeah, I mean, I haven't seen The Bad Batch, but I saw uh, Girl Walks Home Alone at Night, and it was an accomplished film. So okay. the director knows what they're doing. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's move on to the next one. But I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. Kate Hudson. Maybe slumming it a little bit for this one, it feels like, but I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know why I say that, because it might be a really good movie, but I don't know. All right, the next one, let's do something called Nanny, um, which is coming to Prime, apparently. So, three, two, one, go. Uh, I miss you. Love you, Mommy. you to feel overwhelmed okay here's any number you need including her therapist thank you <laughs> jobs don't fall from the sky just work hard to keep it where are you from south africa south africa okay senegal oh we got a winner <laughs> Blumhouse, huh? I've been seen my son. It's been almost a year. Your son? Yes. I need to bring him here. Very soon, I mean. Always very soon. Hmm. Spirits have tried to warn you. Do not ignore the signs. Huh. <sighs> you have your pain me, but I am old. You think Cash is just laying around? I am a mother too. I thought so. I miss my country. Every day. You're gonna be okay? I wish I knew what's happening to me. Oh! I'm intrigued, man. That doesn't look half bad, actually. I'm intrigued. I wonder if ba- if it's based off uh, like a particular folklore or something. I don't know, but I'm, in ga- I'm I'm intrigued by it. It was a well done trailer. Yeah, the visuals are very pretty. It it started off a little a little slow, like not really sure like what exactly was going on, but uh, right. But it, it built to it. It know? definitely it definitely did. This was a this was a good trailer, and I'm yeah, I'm I'm pretty intrigued on it. Yeah, I'll at least watch it on Prime when it hits. I might not hit the theater on it, but yeah. I'll, I'll watch it on Prime when it drops a month later. So, yeah, looks good. Right on. So far, so good with the trailers here. Let's go ahead and do something called Hunted. I wasn't sure if we should do it, but it, it, it definitely looks interesting, but I don't know if it'll be main reaction material. Let's give it a go. Here. Honestly, the one at the bottom left corner. We'll get there. We'll get there. We're only at trailer like five. I'm just saying, dude. Let's look at that, too. God, the stuttering is frustrating. Prince Andrew. <laughs> Maybe that's funny for British humor. Hello, Andrew. Oh, what's going on? You guys are busted. Get hunted. Night, breaking the wrong house. The unfortunate mistake huh? of breaking into my ancestral home. Don't worry. This is not an execution. There's the sport in that. Okay. This doesn't make any sense. Why did you let us go? Why did they wish us luck? What's that? It's a fox hunt. <sighs> oh shit. So why are they hunting? Interesting. Gee, I wonder. <laughs> yeah! You guys broke into their fucking house and like. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Little 
bear trap. Dude, I like movies like this, though. What Ever was... since fucking... Was it Hard Target one of these? Yeah, I think it was, because Van Damme had to be the target. Something like that. Well, we had, we re, uh, watched a movie last year. And the Hunt. Thing. We watched The Hunt a couple Well, not even that one, but there was a um, a group of students went to this small town and everything. Like uh, They started getting hunted by the townsfolk. Oh, yeah, I remember that. I movie. can't remember what, what the name of that was. But that this gives me that kind of vibes as well. This looks good. I'd watch uh, this. Yeah. This looks fun. It's a British version of The Hunt. Yeah. Like, yeah, kind of. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm on board for it, though. Mixing in with like the, the old tradition of the fox hunt and everything. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. It's neat. Cool. All right. So let that be a lesson. Don't break into <laughs> random houses. Um. All right. Let's do. Yeah. I, you wanted to do under wraps That's, too. We might as well because I was a big fan of the. I've the, never the seen first it. One. But you you mentioned it to me, so I pulled the trailer. So yeah. yeah. I'm not expecting anything. How how this. long ago was the first one? The first one was I think in '94. Holy shit! I okay. have it on DVD. So you tell me. Could, I I won't know. I mean, I'm not. Dude, Ari Ari and uh, uh, oh, Soren would like it. Okay, that's fair. That's a good point. I keep forgetting I have kids now. Um, so <laughs> let me know if this is like the kids are grown up now and and like their kids are having to do we'll, whatever. We'll see. Yeah, I guarantee me. it's probably just going to be a complete reboot. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Can I smell you? You're calling him Harold? You have to keep him a secret. He wants to be back together with her. By your means. Oh. Maybe we missed the first one already. They already redid it. Well, no, this is supposed to be a sequel, I think, off of the original. Well, it said one year ago, so now they're oh. back. So it's just probably a sequel to one they already did. They probably did an, an Under Wraps last year. Maybe. Oh. Um. What? Oh boy. Yeah, this is definitely not anything that I know. Yeah, so this is a sequel to one that they apparently made like a year or two ago. <sighs> is it anything like what you originally? No. Right. Well, like the name, <laughs> the, the name. amulet, and everything. Like okay. he doesn't like anything. Honestly, like the the original design was so much better. Okay. All right. Well, for kids, honestly, like if I was, if I was. Uh, like 10, 11 or whatever like that yeah I guarantee I would probably watch yeah, this fair, fair it's obviously not for us but uh, alright so let's also do not my mummy let's do Snapper the man-eating turtle movie that was never made it's a Screenbox release now I believe She's got a that one of the directors of the Pennywise movie was involved with this John Campion oh. I think I'm not sure okay. how to say his last name but um, let's. I, I believe that's the case. We'll see if I'm right. Three, two, one, go. Hey, want to shut that off? Uh, do a man-eating turtle movie that never got made. I'm. I'm go about ahead. a ahead, documentary on this. Because okay, uh, honestly, it happens more often than not. <coughs> you want to go through? Have the eyes sink in a little, Jim. Pull that mechanism without moving the eyes. Damn. Is that? Or, there's is no that turtle it? at all. Is that it? Ah, oh, all right. Never mind. That was a the hell of a teaser trailer. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, we know it's a documentary. <laughs> yeah. And we know what it's about, but we didn't get very yeah, much. Honestly, of it. though, the documentary stuff, especially like this, it's it, it engages me a lot more. I, I agree. I, this stuff, like the um. Oh god, why am I drawing a blank on it? The stuff that Shutter has been doing. Oh yeah, uh, like well, there was another Shutter one we're going to talk about here in a oh, second. Okay. But um, yeah, they they have been doing a lot of documentary, docu style stuff. Mm -hmm. So um, I yeah, I'm, stuff. I like stuff like this too. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So I mean, I watched that whole It movie in one sitting. So I was I'm about this kind of behind the scenes stuff. Being someone that wants to make this kind mm -hmm. of thing, you know what I mean? It makes sense. So yeah, Snapper, okay, fair enough. Let's do something called When the Screaming Starts. How dare you. Three, two, one, go. 
Another screen box release, okay. Good evening. Tonight's main story, a series of brutal murders that have shocked the nation. <laughs> My name is Aiden Mendel and I'm a serial killer. Oh. What are you doing? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's a lot of selections. A documentary filmmaker. And when I stumbled upon Aidan Mendel, I knew I'd found the subject for my next story. We're gonna start a family. Wow. Like Charles Manson. Oh, so it's it's so it's much like uh, It's a mockumentary basically. Yeah, that's this is how Leslie Vernon starts. Honestly, I like the tone. I do too. I, like, it's it's gonna be very dark. Razor Show. It's got a lot of good review. Uh, this. It's got that Shaun of the Dead vibe. Yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Dude, I am so about he this. Basically, like, he's, he's like making a cult of uh, murderers. They're really doing it. People have actually been killed. This is filmmaking history. <laughs> Tonight was the beginning of my serial killer career. You're not a serial what we do in the shadows, okay. That is a vibe I'm getting too. I'm gonna finish this documentary with a real killer. I'm I'm pretty about this. Me too. I, wanna, I definitely want to watch this. To see me kill someone after all. He's just scared and just has everyone kill people for yeah. him. Yeah, I'm about that. Yeah, that looks funny. That looks so entertaining. Absolutely. Dude. Yeah, I mean yeah. this this is and the the what we do in the shadows comparison. Yeah, that's. That's what I was trying to find when I was talking about the other things. Yeah, so. this style, like the the like I said, mockumentary. I, I yeah. I'm all about it. Mm -hmm. All about it. Like um, Wellington. Uh, Wellington Paranormal. Yeah. yeah. Although, man, that third season is becoming or fourth season is becoming a chore for me. Yeah. I have three episodes left, and it's it's just the same thing. They're dumb. They're dumb. I They're know. dumb. <laughs> like that's it's just really wearing out. When you don't have an overall story. Weave throughout I, I, a season. I, I, I kind of, I, I kind of fell off of it because it was, yeah, yeah. Again, it was. That's all it is. It's too dumb, dumb of humor. Yeah. They don't, what we do in the shadows, the they don't get any better. They like, progress. A yeah, bit, at least, you know at least I mean? they earn fucking HP points and level up. Right, right. Like look at uh, look at Guillermo. Like, all right, so he's a badass. Let's, let's go ahead and do this one from Shutter. The hundred and one scariest movie moments of all time. This is one of those docu series that they're doing. Oh. So three, two, one, go. I genuinely think it would be fun to watch this just to rip it apart or disagree with the list, you know what I mean? Jordan Peele obviously gets the terror along with the remedy much better than anyone. Yeah. George C. Scott, man. I'm pretty about this. Yeah. Like I said, I I love these type of horror documentaries that they, that they've been doing. It's just going back and like hitting back on the nostalgia of all the stuff that I grew up watching and getting to revisit those small little iconic scenes. Do, do the In Search of Docu or In Search of Darkness documentaries make it to Shutter? They don't, right? You gotta still purchase those on the separate Blu-rays. Ah, uh, that I'm not sure. Because they did the horror movie ones, and then they did the sci-fi one. I think they're doing one more horror one. Okay. So, yeah, this looks good, though. I, I, I'll watch. Again, I think it'd be fun to <clears throat> agree or disagree with it as we go along mm -hmm. kind of thing. It might be fun. God, I love that scene from The Thing. The Thing is amazing. God. Mm -hmm. All right. So, let's also do one called Speak No Evil. Another, Another shutter. shutter. Place. Yep. Okay. Three, two, one, go.
Should be unlocked. Should be unlocked. These kinds of movies tend to be really terrible. Yeah. I, I, I'm on board for this one. I, I think it looks good. Give it a gander. I think it looks good. I mean, maybe I'll let Fuego try it first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then let me know. Yeah. But it's interesting. I like the way the trailer is set up. I think this is a better use of quotes rather than plastering them huge on the screen. Yeah, to yeah. Take in and just let the, the acting speak for you. I think the acting was really good in this. So, like, and I've said it before, yeah. like the the the, uh, the foreign films, especially for horror and like psychological stuff, they've been hitting it out of the park a lot more than what we have been in the states lately. Yeah, they've been doing a good job for sure, for sure. So, um, I, I never shy away from foreign movies anymore oh, no. just because they're foreign. I used to. I'll be I'll be the first to admit, really? like yeah, until I was like twenty, because oh, okay. I just didn't really. I mean, I saw some. Actually, maybe a little earlier, like Brotherhood of the Wolf might have been the one that, that was really one of, that got was me. That was one of the earlier ones. Yeah, yeah I, I was definitely. like, oh shit, the foreign movies are dope. Mm -hmm. You know, they can be really sick. Well, mine know? was like uh, Night Watch and Day Watch. Yeah, those, uh, Kung Fu Hustle was another yep. early one for me. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm on board for these kinds of movies. So, um, yeah. All right, so let's do one more called Pig Killer. Um, this is... A smaller release. It's Jake Busey, but he's playing an actual serial killer that um, that existed. So three, two, one. Okay. Wow. wow. They don't. The voice is only in this ear. I guess. Trailer gave me that was, a, that was very a very uh, like grindhouse esque yeah. 70s style that, trailer. That shit gave me whiplash. That was that yeah, that was that was very <laughs> odd. And I like I'm a fan of Jake Busey and everything. Me like too. That. We met him at Man Monster yep, a couple he years was, ago. He was cool as hell. Signed the shirt. Yeah. Um like I'll still obviously give this a try. Um Yeah, but, oh maybe you can tell me how it is. <laughs> yeah, I'm not honest this just looks like again, it's like a it, it's a Dark comedy bad acid trip. Yeah, that's, that's yeah, I can see that. That's basically <laughs> what it seems like. So yeah, guys, I think we'll go ahead and call it there for our trailer reaction. The rest of these that you're seeing on screen, um, that's gonna be for everyone else to come and react to in just a minute. You'll have already seen that on the channel. Uh, we're just picking up the stragglers here. So thanks very much for watching. Thank you to all of our patrons for supporting the channel. We greatly appreciate each and every one of you guys. Until next time, though, I'm Cecil Laird. Robert Wolfman. And remember, stay, stay scared. scared.